hello everyone. Here we go. I think we're on. Perfect, perfect. I decide to uh, pop a uh, live. Remember, if you've been following me in the past like three weeks, I said I would pop live quite often during this uh, shutdown or whatever you call it, stay at home, uh, whatever it's called, right? So if you are not a subscriber, well, first I should say, if you're watching and you see a live below, that means I am live. Um, if you don't see a live, that means you're watching the recording. So if you want to get notification when I go live, right below, right here, it says subscribe. So you can subscribe right there. After you subscribe, though, you want to hit that little bell and click everything you want to get notification. So when I post my video on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you're going to get notification. But the main thing is about getting notification when I come unannounced like today. I plan to do that quite often. So I see I get some people joining me. So welcome, welcome. So today we're going to play. Uh, it's going to be a messy uh, kind of a card, but fun. So first I want to say a big shout out to Barb, one of my teammates. She shared a card that just brought my got my attention. You know that I don't use... Uh, bright color often but when I do bright color usually it's going to be melon mambo uh, daffodil delight and a red in that most of the time I'm looking at my color there so it's a little bit like that but this time we're going to play with the crystal effect the sparkle there we're going to play with this so let me flip you down and that need the time to dry and so on. So I get some, we're going to finish some. And the one that I'm doing live with you, we're going to see if, you know, it's going to be dry enough to put together. If not, I'm repeating one, put it that way. So let me flip you down. And up and down. Let me just crop this here a bit more. I got the cable here that stopped me of, wait a minute. Okay, if it can stay about this way. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna call that good. So, what we are doing today adds it's with the crystal, um, well, some of it call it brush -o. We used to have something like that before. Some uh, people call it pigment uh, sprinkle, watercolor uh, crystal. So this is what we're doing. So let me share which color I use with what. We will finish this part here in a minute. Uh, you know what? So it got time to dry the other one. I'm going to tell you the color after. Let's do our messy job and then i'm going to share how to do this maybe it's going to have time to dry while i explain everything with the other card so i'm doing this on um, a regular card stock this one is daffodil delight all the card that i'm sharing today the base it's daffodil delight and this here it's driving me insane because it's very cockeye it's cockeye from the top Let's so, so it's Daffodil Delight. Most of the time when I do the crystal, I use watercolor paper. This time, I'm using just a plain Daffodil cardstock. So we're going to be using the yellow, the Daffodil Delight, and the crystal. I'm going to be using the Melon Mambo. And also, I'm going to be using uh, the Mango Melody. So this is the three color we're going to be using with that. And you know what? Let me bring you a little bit closer. So um, it's going to be a little bit better, I think, to see the effect. Here we go. I think that's going to be better here uh, so you can see close up that you're not so far away. So this is the three color we're going to use. Let me bring my, I'm putting a plastic bag just under, and you see my paper there, because I've been playing with that. So just use um, scrap paper and put the plastic, because yes, it's going to go under. 
Now you're going to spritz this with water. Let me grab my spritzer here. Where did I put it? This one, it's all okay. I got another bottle here. I really like our bottle because it's make it very fine. You know what? I'm going to have water in this. One second. I use it all. Here we go. I like this one better than a regular bottle because this is very a fine mess. So we're going to spritz this. And you, I don't know how much you can see, but my paper is very saturated with water. It's pooling, okay? And I think you can see the glare. Now, I'm going to start with my darkest. Usually, that's what I like to start with. So, I'm just going to tap a little bit so that it's more like the red. And you can see it like spider web, right? Now, I'm going to be using uh, Melon Mung, uh, Mung, blah, 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 Mango Melody. Mango Melody. And I'm going to add a little bit. You still want to keep some cardstock. I went heavy here. And then uh, melon mom, are we already done melon mambo and then daffodil. Daffodil, the sprinkle, and also it's daffodil card stuff. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take my spritz again and I'm gonna spritz. You see where I get all those dots there? I put more. So now we're going to let this dry. I went and grabbed some tissue there. I don't want to tap it because that takes too much of the color. So I'm going to just marbleize a little bit here and just a little bit at the edge there so I don't have the line on the edge. And then we're going to let this dry here while we talk about the other one. So, let me move this. Put that there. Now let's make sure that... Okay, so the color that I just done, it was this here. This one. This one, it is... And all the cardstock, it's Daffodil Delight. All of it, it's Daffodil Delight. And this one, it's exactly what... I done. So it was uh, Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, and Daffodil Delight in the sprinkle. And I put the direct link just in the description. So when it, we're done, you can go in the description and I put the, the link for that. So that was this one. Now this one here, I added all the same color, but I added the grapes in it, gorgeous grapes. So you can see here I get some of the gorgeous grapes in there. So that's one of the color that I added. I didn't add green, but you see I do have bits of green. It's all in this sprinkle that it gives different color. So that was those one. We're going to finish that card. I want to try something new on that card. And this here, this it's I think this is striking, striking also. And this I emboss it with the tufted, I should have said the tufted embossing folder. This is one is the Parisian uh, uh, Flourish. And this one, it's the Coastal Weave. Okay, this one here, I did Daffodil Delight. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple, and yes, I use more of the Daffodil Delight. And again, it is on Daffodil Delight cardstock. All of them on Daffodil Delight cardstock. So here is the combo for this. Okay, let's remove that. Let's finish this card first. I'm looking at the other one here. Try to move it so it can dry. What I'm going to do before, let's eat set this a bit. Usually I just let it dry natural, but let's see. It's 
speed of the process here because I really would like to finish this. See how it marbleized that? Is that cool? I just want to speed up the process so maybe we can put it together. Okay. Well, hello, sunshine bed. Here we go. We're going to let it dry again. So let's work with this one. Uh, if you notice, my pinks, it's all different color. Can you see that? So what I've done, this time this is in the green, so we're going to do it in the green. So when it's on black, it's easier to do that. If you're wondering where the things come from, uh, it was damp a little bit when I embossed some, and some of it was dry. So uh, damp going to have a little bit deeper impression. You are correct, Iggy. I use the Ornit tanks and I use the tanks from this. And now we're going to use um, Granny Apple. I'm going to use the Dart. I'm going to use the Daffy, uh, the Bermuda Bay, the Dart. And I'm going to use the Daffodil, the Dart. And I'm going to start with the light color first. And I just want to go like lines in my words and you see i'm not even paying attention if it go on my black okay we're going to leave that there now the next one i bet is going to be a uh, granny apple you can use the brush too sometimes i don't like the fine you can use the brush so i'm just going randomly it's no pattern i didn't go in pattern I just go randomly, okay? Now I'm gonna use the Bermuda Bay. Because it's dark, so it doesn't matter if you pass it, because the cardstock is darker than your pen. You see, I get all the same color than in my, uh, I can add maybe a little bit more. Let me bring a little bit more green. So you see, I just play with my color like this and then call it good. So I got my yellow, my green, and my blue. Voila. So let me share that close up to you. Can you see all those colors there? Here we go. So uh, another thing, if this is already dry, you can always uh, miss the back of it and then emboss it. That's going to go deeper, your embossing, okay? So now we're going to put this on the black here. Uh, I don't know if you guys joined me last Thursday. This Thursday we just passed on uh, Facebook. I had done this card here. And this was still wet when I uh, put it together, damp, and it didn't work good. I had grip there, we cover it up. But you want really your paper to be very dry before you start assemb assembling. If not, you're going to have some fiasco. It's going to rip, put it that way. Now I'm going to put that there. I'm going to decide which one is the bottom. Okay, I want this at the bottom. So let me put this right here. Like so. And I need something to stamp inside too. I don't know what I'm going to stamp inside. So I just want to put my um, white in here. This is Bermuda Bay uh, card base for the full card base. Here we go. Now, I just cut two little uh, daisy, uh, the little, I mean, medium. I just gonna, yes, I'm in the um, swing of daisy. 
last uh, Wednesday on my live uh, class here on YouTube. I use a lot of Daisy, and again, uh, many of you know that Daisy, it's, it's my favorite flower. Uh, don't buy me roses, but buy me wild um, flowers or daisy, and I'm in heaven. We're going to put that there. I'm just using blue dots, so it's not rays. And I should have put that on my card base first. It would be easier. I'm going to put that right here. Now, the daisy was in Bermuda Bay. The leaves, that's the little leaf punch here that I did. Uh, that it's in a granny apple. I'm just going to put the, oh, oh. Here we go. I'm going to lift this up here. Here we go. Now, I got an half inch circle here. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did at uh, class this uh, month. And where is my poker? I used it a few minutes ago, so that means it's on my desk someplace. Hmm. Well, I got another one. Okay. I take the back of the paper piercer and just on your paper piercer and just roll on, baby. Here we go. Now we're going to take a dimensional, and then I'm going to use a small dimensional. Hmm, this is almost empty here. I'm going to put the dimensional in. Oops. I have both of the backing. Oops, sideways. I pull that here. Here we go. And then we're going to put that in the center. It's just roll good. Your uh, I'm gonna use um, wing of Stella and put it just here. So I didn't even sponge the flower here or nothing. Just boom. See how that is super striking, super striking. So this one here, it's the same technique than that for the things. Okay. Now I wanted to try something new. I said. So now that this one it's embossed with the weave, uh, the, the coastal weave folder, and I want to try to, okay, let me put this away here because we're done with this. Can I have too much on my desk because then I cannot find nothing. Let me bring uh, a layered with kindness. I did a card yesterday with this, and where is that card? I don't know where that part is. Hmm. It's someplace safe. Put it that way. Yeah, very, very safe. Maybe it's here. Huh. Where did I put that card? Oh, maybe here? Yep, yeah, I got it. So I was playing with that set yesterday. See how pretty that is, that flower? Very simple card here. But... Um, that was still out, so we're going to use this and use the little flower. And I didn't try this before, so you guys are my guinea pig. And because I got a bit of um, the gorgeous grapes there, we're going to stamp the leaf, everything in gorgeous grapes. So let me bring that here. Gonna put right here. Perfect. And then I'm going to go with my flower. Voila. You know what? I think I need five flowers. Here we go. So now we got our flowers. It's stamped directly on uh, the embossed. Okay, uh, I got the Poppy Parade. Did I tell you which color that I put in that? Yes, I did. And we're going to do a faux knot here, or a faux bow, or whatever you call it, okay? So let me 
we're gonna roll this on your finger do one and then two there oh i didn't run too much long huh did my good mouth tender that should work okay you know what this is going to bug me because i didn't do it one second it's going to take two seconds so you guys can re-watch it and learn how to do it put it that way so i call that a faux bow or faux knot i just do a loop pass it through so you do like a double knot and then again Crisscross like a V and under and then in. That should give me a flat knot there. There we go. Now let's bring um, and we're gonna mount that on Poppy Parade. This the ribbon it's Poppy Parade. Oh, I want this here. Could add it a little bit longer but we're going to make it work i always like to add some more uh, glue on my ribbon in the back so then it's more secure especially when it's just a little bit there here we go and then this is going to be more like a note card because i won't put no greeting in the front and i'm going to put that right no could add my knot at the other end but it's going to work and we're going to mount that right here you know what let's do a greeting i just get an idea i'm going to put um for you so, oh i'm going to put yellow I'm going to put a hello, because hello would go with any. It's never been put together, but let's just remove that. I'm going to put that here. And we're going to do that on a little piece of white. And we're going to use Poppy Parade, because that's the main base there. Oops, that's dirty. We're going to put that right here. Mm, you know what? Let me do another one so it's darker. Here we go. Better. Okay, now I'm going to take my scissors. And we're going to cut this. Okay, I need my small scissors. Here they are. And I'm going to put a little bit shorter there. I'm going to put a little V here. And here we go. Let's use one blue dot. That's it. One blue dots. Where's my? Here they are. One blue dot. And slide that right under here. Et voilà. So you see, now you get in that color and we stamp on top of it. Here we go. So we get these two done. Let's see if we can do this one. Oh yeah, so let me emboss that. We're gonna emboss that with the same. So I'm gonna put this in my Parisian Polish uh, folder. And what I do, I, I try to align it about the same place. You know my pattern, that's about right. Here we go. Now, well, maybe I'll put it. That's okay. Okay, let me emboss this.
see how deep that is, how it, that orange and everything. I would call this, this technique here with those color, I think I would call that fire. It looked like, it's just so vivid and so bright. Love it. Okay, do I have, I got a card base here. I thought I, and I got a black here. Here we go. Let's do something different from the other one. I think we just going to add, it's, let me be careful here because it's still damp a little bit, okay? Not much, but enough to really pull the cardstock. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I think I wanted to, uh, should I do the red ribbon on this or the black? I think I want the black. Yeah, I want some black ribbon. So let me reach for black ribbon. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit longer this time. And then we're gonna put the knot. Because this is so pretty, I don't wanna cover too much of that pattern. I think it's very, very pretty. So, I'm going to put it on sideways. This way, I got to go on the long way, but see, that's how I work. I switch my mind as I go. Let me cut this a bit here. Here, I have to be very careful because it's still damp. Let's see if I'm straight. Oops. Okay, let's put this right here. And instead of a white um, card base, we're going to go with daffodil card base, I think. Let me pull a daffodil. Five and a half, and we're going to score that at four and a quarter. Yeah, that embossing folder, it's wicked for this technique. That is my favorite. I tried different one, but with this, I think this is very wicked. Absolutely, I agree. Like I said, this is still damp a little bit, so it's kind of a so we're going to glue this, and we're going to do a hello, I think. You know what? I think I don't even want to stamp nothing in the front. One minute. Here we go. So now if you go, it's a bit loose like this one, because this is damp and it won't stay down. You can take a glue dot, go right under your knot, push it down. So see, now this is going to keep it flat. Here we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try a hello. Let's try this. I'm gonna try the Hello and Good Morning Magnolia, but I won't do it till I test it out, put it that way, because I got a feeling that I want to leave it plain. So let's see. So I got Hello, and I'm gonna stamp the yellow and black because I get the back, back, full background. You know what? We won't do white then. We're gonna do a so sap, uh, not so saffron, but daffodil. Let me look for a piece of daffodil. Let's do daffodil. And then we're going to go with poppy or melon. Uh, not melon, but... Oh, yeah, melon would be good. Okay, okay. Let's try this. I talk to myself like that every time I uh, do. 
Okay, one is not enough, so I'm gonna go one and a quarter. I have two is my retire one. So if you don't have the one and a quarter, you can use the frame list. One and a quarter. Now we're gonna go with the one and a half with the melon mumbo. Try to get that melon mumbo stand out more. Get this melon mumbo. I don't like it. I absolutely don't like it. Mm -mm. Nope. Let's see one and a half on black. It was it was taking too much. It was it stand out the hello, but in my opinion, it was standing too much that it take. Uh, is that big enough here? It take the the whole work of the card away. So sometimes you want to have the grading to stand up, and other time that it's better if you leave it because it takes everything away. Much better. In my opinion, this is much better. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together. But you saw sometimes when you try something and it's like, mm, no. I do a lot of daffodil and melon mumbo. Like I said, that's the only bright color it seemed that I work with. But in this case, it was taking way too much of all that pattern and so on. I just want to. I know I'm great taking that out there. Here we go. Put that down. Put this back down. Here we go. Now it's not so big and so pronounced that it don't take away from the work. Here we go. So what do you think? Another thing that we can uh, put in this, I think that would look good. It is some bling. So um, if I bring some of... Um, So I can add just bits and pieces here and there, not too much, just a little bit. So sometimes less is better, and you keep it that way, right? So I'm just going to add a, like five of them. Oh, I get two together. I don't want that. These two were stuck together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four and one more, and I'm gonna come right here. Right there. Here we go. So yeah or not? I don't know. I like it. Like I said, I think just like that, it's pretty. So see, this is all the same color. They look different because this one I got more of the mambo. This one I got more of the orangey. So, but it was in the same color combo. And it made a big difference also because I got white in my background. So, depending what color you're going to put with it, that's going to be a, play a big role in those uh, cards. Just because that's the way it is. Now, let's push this here and let's bring this one. So, you see, it's still, we started still with the the Daffodil Delight uh, cardstock, but then we use different combo of the sprinkles, so it make it very, very different. So I hope you enjoyed that, and it gets you to get your, um, I was washing my stamp while I was talking, yeah, that's just an edit I had to talk and work. <laughs> um, take your uh, sprinkle out and start playing with that, most time I let it uh, air dry, you know, just like that. But I really like the way this one went marble when I used the E tool to it. So that would make another different look completely. I think that would be lovely.
So I'll get the link above or below, I mean, in the uh, description. Soon this is done, you can see the description. You're going to have the link for the to my store to purchase the sprinkle. And I put the three folder to there, but you can use other folder. My personal choice is the Parisian folder. I think that is super, super striking with this. It's super deep and very striking. So now if you missed last Thursday, you still can watch the replay of my class. Let me move this. I'm, I feel this one, it's still damp there. You still can watch the replay of, this was a one sheet wonder with three, uh, I mean, six different fold. You can watch the replay. You still can qualify for the free uh, PDF. All um, It's on my blog at frenchystamps.com. With an order of $30, you're gonna get the PDF sent to you. And I get the hostess code there. And this is a big buckle. So this is all the cards that I'm sharing it's the same designer series paper and the way that I cut it and we made six different cards. This one here, we saw this full many times, but I got that secret place to write, put it that way. See, it can open this way also. Now I got the same, this is all the same folds. It's just a different uh, print from the same pack of paper. So you can see all the replay if you missed last Thursday, you can watch the replay right here on my channel. Also, you can go at frenchystamps.com and you're gonna see the blog post there. I get all the direction or the information on how to place your order and qualify for the download. So, here it is. So let me flip you back up, up and down. Here we go. So I hope that you're having a lovely, lovely weekend. Again, if you are new to my channel or if you come a few times but you're not a subscriber, the best way to know when I pop live unannounced, you never know when I get the urge to stamp in front of you and sharing, it's right below. You get the subscribe button, click the subscribe, then make sure to hit the bell after you subscribe for the notification. And also, all in the U.S., you can shop 24-7 at FrenchyStamps.com for all your stamping up product. I appreciate your business more than you know. So keep me in business and go at FrenchyStamps.com to place your order. Like I said, you can stay in your jammy. You don't have to leave the house. Right there at your fingertip, you can shop 24-7. Thank you so much and have a lovely weekend, my friend. Bye-bye for now.